Hi, my name is Aaron. Today we're going to be testing our wireless PC to TV converter, our part number SW28760, which you can find at SewellDirect.com. Um, we're just going to run through a few of the parts that are included with this product. You're going to have two of these power adapters, one for each, each of the units. You've got a sending, a sending unit and a receiving unit. The sending unit goes from your computer, whatever source you're using, and the receiving unit hooks up to your, your TV or your display. There's a VGA cable. This is what's going to hook up to your laptop or your computer. RCA cables plug into your receiving unit and to your TV. And then here's an audio cable that we're also going to plug in. There's a few other cables that are included, but we're just not going to use those for our setup. That's if you want to do a wired setup with this converter. Today we're just going to test the wireless capability. First thing we're going to want to do is take the receiving unit, the small one, and we're going to hook it up to the TV. So the first thing you need to do is grab the power adapter. Just plug that into a power outlet. Then it, this little uh, slot right here plugs right in. That gives the unit power. You notice this little green light turns on in the front when you're getting that power. And then all you have to do with this is plug in the, the RCA cables, the red, white, and yellow cables. Just plug right in here to the converter. And the other side go right in the back of your TV. And that's all we need to do for that part. Alright, the next part is getting the sending unit, the bigger one. And we're going to hook that up to a laptop is what we're going to use for our VGA source. So again, just take the power adapter. You plug it in on the farthest right slot that says DC 5 volt. And that plugs right into your power. And the next part, you're going to take this cable has the the standard VGA connection on one end, and it's got this circular connection on the other. So the VGA plugs into the VGA port on your laptop or your computer, which in ours it looks like, like this. So that plugs directly in. And the circular end it does. It goes right into this VGA in port, this circular one right next to where the power goes. So we're going to plug that right in there. And then the other thing we do is we get this audio cable. That plugs into your headphone jack on your computer, on your laptop. So in our case, it's right here on the side, the headphone jack. Plug that in. And this this is if you want to carry the audio from whatever you're playing on your, your computer. This plugs into the side of the unit to the audio in port. Now you also notice there's a few switches on the side of the converter. This first one says PAL and NTSC. Most of us are going to be using an American TV, so you flip that to the right to the NTSC side. This next switch is for the different different channels that you can use for this converter. And that's in, in case you're getting any kind of interference on any one of the channels, you can switch it to get a better image through the wireless connection. So for right now, we're just going to leave it uh, flipped to the farthest left, channel 1. And notice again, this little light's on when you plug in the power adapter on the, on the, on the unit itself. Okay, now we just need to turn the television on. And make sure it's on the right input for the red, white, and yellow uh, RCA composite cables. <laughs> okay. So you'll notice we're on the composite input. That's where we want to be. Make sure that this, the receiving unit's also set to channel 1. So now if you're using a laptop, you're going to have a special keystroke that you would use, just like, like with our wired PC to TV converter. That's going to get the video signal to send manually from your laptop to get to your computer. So if you have Windows 7, there's a really easy way to do that. You 
click the Windows button at the bottom left hand side and the letter P. It's going to give you an option for displaying on just the computer or to duplicate the signal. So I can just go with my mouse and simply click on Duplicate and that's going to send the signal from my PC also to my TV. I get the same image.